Hi, uh, Ken German here, the Unstoppable Geek, and this is day 20 video for the Clerks Gone Wild video challenge. And what I wanted to share with you is I wanted to share with you a funny story. Back when I was young, this is what, when I was 10 years old, I tended to be kind of a know-it-all. There wasn't anything that you could tell me that I didn't know. And I made it a point to tell everybody that I knew everything. And it got to the point where my adult, adult, adult friends and uncles and aunts would just kind of be irritated at the point that they would want to try and prove me wrong. And this story is about that kind of situation where I didn't want to admit that I was wrong. Well, we have, I'm originally from the St. Paul, Minnesota, the Twin Cities area, St. Paul, Minneapolis area. And I was born and raised there. I lived there for about 30 some odd years before moving to Florida. And we have a cabin, a vacation home that's been in the family for 45 years now since my younger brother Keith was, a, was born. I'm the middle child of five. I have a younger sister named Dawn, younger brother named Keith. I'm the middle child, and then my brother John, and then my brother Dan is the oldest. My sister has two children, uh, Hannah and Jessica, and then my brother Dan has two children, Alec and Jake. Well, on our cabin, we have a lot of our relatives that are there, my aunts and uncles are stuff there, so it's just one of those things where we would go up to the cabin and we would see everybody. And this particular occasion, uh, when we were driving at the cabin, I happened to study the Continental Divide in school. And I knew all about the Continental Divide. And the Continental Divide is at the point where when you cross it, the rivers start flowing north instead of south. And I spent a lot of time over at my aunt and uncle, my aunt and uncle, my aunt Rosie and Mike's cabin when we were up there, because I just kind of like to hang out with her. My aunt Rosie and my aunt Michael were pretty cool, and they kind of understand my my own problems I was having at the time. And I would take, and every so often I would go into town with my aunt, with my aunt, my aunt and my uncle just to go into Cross Lake, Minnesota. There's my Minnesota accent. And when you go into town, you cross a river. So this particular time, you know, I was all smart about the Continental Divide. And I got in the truck I rolled with my, my Uncle Mike and we're talking back and forth and we got to talking about the Continental Divide and we got talking about the Little Pine River and and I, I insisted at the point in time that as we're crossing the Little Pine River that that river was flowing north. And my uncle was so angry with me, so upset with me, he says, basically it was the shorter version of you little bastard, which it wasn't really what he said, but he was upset with me. He goes, we're going to stop at that bridge and I'm going to show you with a compass which way that river is flowing. And I'm thinking to myself, 10 years old, oh shit, I'm screwed. How am I going to get out of this one? So I'm trying to stall my uncle thinking that maybe he'll forget about it. So I take my own sweet time, and he kind of just basically grabs me by the ear or grabs me by the arm, I forget which. And he says, get your ass in the truck. We're going to the river. Oh, shit. So we drive up, and we're driving, and I'm like trying to talk to him, make nice with him, kind of get him to see if he'll forget about the whole thing. He doesn't. We pull off safely on the side of the road. He takes the compass, which he handily has in the truck, and he heads out towards the river, and I says, I won't get out of the car. And 
and he looks at me and he says, he points at me and he says, points over here, he says, get over here. And he says, see, the river's flowing south. And he's looking at the compass and I see the compass and I see the compass is flowing south, or the pointing south, or the river's pointing, or the river's flowing south. And I smiled at him. And I go, you know, Uncle Mike, and I looked at the river and I smiled at him. It doesn't look like the river is flowing at all to me. And he goes, you little shit. We get in the truck and we drive home back to the cabin. See, back then, I didn't know what being humble and being tactful was about. Because for me, it was more about being right than it was about me being wrong. And one of the lessons I learned through life is, and my friend Sam, as I was going through my Masonic degrees and I was about to be raised the Master Mason, he makes a joke. He goes, you know, Ken, I said, I've been married for 32 years. And I've only been happy for two of them. And he looks at me and he smiles, and his usual smile that Sam has. And he goes, do you know why? I go, no. It's because for the thir first 30 years of my marriage, I tried to be right. For the last two years of my marriage, I'm being happy. So that's my little funny story for today for day 20 of the Clicks Gone Wild video challenge. Have an awesome day. And I will see you tomorrow.